Hi, Aries. So, this video is going to be a little different. First of all, I figured out what the squeaking noise was. It's the table, not the chair. So, yeah, I'll try not to touch the table too much. But, um, I'm going to do a soulmate reading. I'm going to pick up the energy of you and of your person. Just pick a side, whichever side resonates for you. So, right off the bat, when I was meditating, I got, I think an air sign needs to be patient with you. Or you need to be patient with an air sign. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. But that's what I was getting. Hello. Okay. Could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you're taking advice from a Leo. Maybe they're wise. Maybe you need advice about something. Maybe your boss is a Leo. Hmm. Or maybe you're just having a lot of strength right now to do what you need to do. Maybe in work. I did get a lot of work vibes from y'all. I think y'all are being recognized for the work that you do. Maybe you do something creative or you're just like leveling up. Okay. Have the wheel here. Maybe you've gone through a cycle with a Leo or another fire sign. I almost get, I don't know, I'm not getting any bad vibes from this. Like, I don't feel like something might have ended, but I think you're really being wise with your movements right now. And you're just like at peace. Like, I just think you're okay. Which is probably why maybe somebody needs to be patient with you because you're doing just fine and you're really focusing on you. You have a lot of inner strength right now just to like do you. I get more energy on Aries, Universe, Sun, Moon, Oh, hello. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups. Could be a possible offer coming forward. Or maybe you feel a connection. Maybe something isn't going as planned with a connection. Where's can I get more for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I wanted to jump. Good, okay. Here you go, King of Wands. This could be you, or you. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys are definitely connected. Maybe you just got in a new relationship. This is a new cycle, new relationship. Could be with the Libra, or maybe you got what you deserved, maybe in a good way. Yeah, I think you got what you deserved, money-wise, like, yeah, that's probably why I got a lot of work vibes. I think you definitely may have got a promotion or something, and you're moving forward with the chariot at the bottom of the deck, you're moving forward very fast. Yeah, you're focused on work, I feel like. This might not resonate with everyone, but, like, I feel like you guys are definitely focused on work. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or maybe you're just keeping to yourself right now. Universe, can I get the energy of the person or situation that Aries is dealing with? Universe, can I get the energy of the person or situation or connection that Aries is dealing with? Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> Death card. It did come out in reverse. I usually don't read reversals, but hey, Gemini. Could have ended something with a Gemini. Or just a love connection. You could have ended it. Maybe they were distracting you. I don't know why I got that. Or maybe you just weren't moving as moving forward as fast as you wanted to in like this connection. Or maybe you couldn't focus on your own goals. Because with this strength card over here, I'm just getting inner strength. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or you ended a way of thinking. They ended a way of thinking. One of the two. Or both. Sure. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe this person was just like in their head a lot and you couldn't deal with it. Yeah, I just feel like there was a lot of confusion in this connection. Definitely could have been dealing with the Scorpio with the um, Queen of Cups at the bottom and the Death card. So I think you ended this way of thinking or they ended their way of thinking or maybe they're coming out of confusion about you. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting this because this King of Wands yeah, you both have the world card. Okay, yeah, they're holding on to you. The Four of Pentacles, they are holding on to you. Hmm. So yeah, the death card was supposed to be in reverse because they are holding on to you. They are holding on to this connection. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're abundant right now. Whether you're single or not, you are abundant. You are getting what you deserve and work. With the Justice card, you worked very hard, and now you're getting what you deserve. But there is this two of cups here, which I will clarify. So I feel like the connection is still in your energy. 
But I just don't think it's your main focus right now. I think your main focus is your inner strength. And like what I was saying, I feel like they were confused because like just in this deck specifically, I can't say that word. He just looks like, like he just looks kind of like a player, not gonna lie in this deck, but maybe they thought wrong. And maybe they cut it off with you. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody was definitely in their head or is in their head. And I feel like they're coming out of confusion and now they're holding on to you. Or maybe they're holding on. I don't know. Let me get more. Yeah, they're. Yeah, they might still be confused with the um, two of swords at the bottom. I need one more card for the person that Aries is dealing with. Okay. So, damn, you both have justice. So, yeah, you both are getting what you deserve. And I feel like you are getting good. You're good. You're being very wise right now. Because I think you know that karma is happening right now. I think you see it. Maybe in other people. And I think you're very aware of it. So, yeah, you're just focusing on you and your money you don't want. We don't want anything to fuck up this connection. I don't know why, but I'm getting other people. Maybe other people, you're just keeping to yourself. Or like you two are just keeping to yourselves. But there's this Eight of Swords here, which I will clarify. But you have the Queen of Pentacles, so it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you're dealing with. I did see the Hermit card, so strong Virgo vibes. Um, but yeah, you both are getting justice, which could be why you both have the world here. Or you're getting... Whatever. You're getting something. Mutually. Alright. So, what's the Seven of Cups? Why is the person that Aries is dealing with confused? Maybe it's because, okay, the Eight of Pentacles just focus itself on me. Maybe they're confused because you're focused on work and not, not on them. So maybe they feel like you don't like them or something, but you're just focused on building because you see it growing. Anyways, why is this person confused? Knight of Swords, okay. So, I did hear other people. Maybe there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini though, vibes, that maybe there is somebody around you or looking at you or something and they're like confused. Like, are they, yeah, that could be why they're in their head with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, clarify the Eight of Swords. Maybe they think you're gonna go towards them. Maybe they think you're interested in them. And they're confused on whether to end this or not, which could be why they're holding on so tightly, so yeah. Or a Scorpio could be around you. And okay, maybe they're afraid. The Scorpio or the um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio is afraid that you are going to leave them for an air sign. Uh, that's weird. Because I even said, I feel like an air sign needs to be patient. Maybe you're maybe you're trying to let this go with a, with a water sign to move towards an air sign. But they are holding on to you. And may I, maybe you want to end this cycle that you both are in. But they're not allowing it to happen. That's crazy. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Gemini. Lovers at the bottom. Okay. So... Yeah, you have to have strength. Yeah, you just gotta have it as strength to like do this. What's the two of cups? Universe, who is the two of cups for Aries? What's the two of cups? Yeah, I think you might wanna make offer to someone else. So you wanna end this cycle first and they're not letting it happen. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, it could be this earth sign. Maybe you want the earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe you want them. Three of Pentacles, maybe, maybe you just love your work. You're being recognized for your work and you really love your work. Could want to start something with an Aquarius because I noticed the stars in the back. Hmm. What's the Justice card? Where's, what's the Justice card for Aries? Hanged man. Okay, yeah, so maybe you are now seeing this a little bit differently. Could be dealing with Pisces, but I think you're seeing the situation differently. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, I think you want to continue on by yourself. I think you want to be single. Like, there's not any swords here on your side, so maybe you want them to cut off the connection, but 
they're holding on to you. So it's like not happening, which could be why the death is in reverse. Okay. So let me get some advice for you. Shit. What's the advice for Aries regarding this situation? Universe, what's the advice for Aries? Okay, that's a lot. Well, yeah, I did see the call card, so like definitely focus on work, focus on what you're focused on. Focus on your skill, your life path. Universe, what's the advice for Aries? I'm gonna take this one. Hmm. Eight of fire. Okay, communicate. Let them know. Because they're holding on to you. And they're gonna continue to hold on to you. So let them know. Or let something, yeah. Yeah, if you let them know, three of fire, you'll make progress with this. And I, it, yeah, you'll move forward in this situation. Here's gonna get one more card of advice for Aries. Love, okay. I'm getting from this card, go towards your true love. If it's them, work it out. If it's not them, let them know. Yeah, you've gotta let them know. If your true love is work, I mean, you, I feel like you already are focused on work. Yeah, Ace of Earth, definitely focus on your work. It will be very, very, very abundant for you. Get one more, I get one more card of advice for Aries. Okay, hey, there it is again, patience. So yeah, you gotta have patience with somebody or somebody needs to have patience with you or maybe you need to voice to them that they need to have patience with you. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you would like a personal reading, then there is options in the description box on how you can get one. So yeah, I hope this was a good reading for you. It was kind of crazy. But thank you so much for watching.